In today's video, we will take a closer look at the upgradable internals of the Dell Inspiron 16 Plus. I've been having this computer for quite some time now, and one of the things I was most keen with was the upgradability. This both has an extra SSD, and it also comes with two upgradable RAM slots. So I've been really keen to try one thing that separates the Inspiron from the XPS line. Supposedly the XPS line works with 64GB of RAM, while the Inspiron 16 and Inspiron 15 for that matter should not be working with 64GB of RAM. But specifications, especially the ones from Dell, sometimes don't really tell the truth. So I have my 64 gigs of RAM right here, and I will be testing it out in the Dell Inspiron 16 Plus to see if this is working out. First of all, we need to get into the laptop. And from doing this before, I know that you don't need to get the back screws off of the chassis. You just need to remove the front screws here, and then you should be able to start prying. So you unscrew the back screws, but they don't come all the way off from the lid. Once we have unscrewed all the screws and reached this state, it is time to pry the lid off. For completing this task, I usually use some kind of credit card or similar, but there are also specific tools, or you could use a guitar pick if you have one. Sometimes when completing this task, I most definitely feel like I am being too violent. But usually it's all good and no problem. And the lid came off eventually after a little bit of work with the prying tool. This is the way the lid looks on the inside. And as you can see you have some protective material there for some of the internals. As well as a lot of ventilation grills. These are the little bit funny speaker grills which I don't really understand, but the speakers on this guy is also not that great. Looking at the internals here, you can see we have one SSD that is my one terabyte SSD that is fitted in there. And then we have the small SSD, the M2230. And that one is not fitted in. So this means to be able to upgrade the SSD here, I would need a 2230 SSD which I currently don't have. So I would need to order an extra SSD if I want to upgrade this guy in terms of storage. As you can see here, we have two slots for RAM. And according to the Dell manual, it doesn't support 64 gigabytes. So we will need to test it out and see if that is actually true or if it works fine with a 64 gigabyte RAM upgrade. The RAM that we will be using in today's video is the T-Force DDR4 Gaming Sets. These are two modules of 32GB each and they are clocked in 3200MHz. First of all, before I start fiddling around with this, I'm gonna remove the battery so that we have no power coming into the components. You have the battery plugged into the motherboard right over there and it's just a matter of taking out that connector. Once this connector is plugged out, we should be all safe to remove the RAM sticks. The RAM that was in it was this Hynix RAM 8GB and it is 3200MHz clock speed as well. So this is not a bad RAM stick by any means, I might be using it in any of my other laptops. RAM will only fit in one direction and then it clicks right into place. And that's it. Before I completely put the lid back on, I'm just gonna slot it in without putting the screws back in and see if this works. Before you do that though, remember to plug the battery connector back into the motherboard. Otherwise there will be no power and you will probably think that this is not working. Unfortunately, it seems like I can't get it to work. The laptop doesn't want to start up when I have the new RAM slotted in, and it's just basically staying at this black screen with nothing else happening to it. To try out as many different things as possible, I also checked if I could run it with swapping the RAM modules. This didn't work, it refused to start. 
I then swapped one of the RAM modules for the 8GB one that was in from the beginning, but it still did not boot up. Then I reinserted both of the RAM sticks that were included at purchase, and now the computer booted up just fine. So the conclusion I draw from this is that the Dell Inspiron 16 Plus is actually not compatible with my 64GB 3200 MHz RAM setup that I really wish I could use with it. Getting the lid back on is actually a very simple process where you just put it right in and then you screw the back two screws in first and then it will actually just click into place. There are a few places here where you need to click it in more properly to make it stick to the chassis and uh, actually yeah, you actually need to press quite hard for it to attach those points. But once it is attached all around the sides, then it's just a matter of screwing all these tiny guys back in. That is it for this video on upgradability of the Dell Inspiron 16 Plus. Unfortunately, I couldn't turn it into the 64GB RAM powerhouse that I really wanted it to be. Having those 64GB of RAM in it, I think would make it rival the use of my MacBook Pro 14, which is currently my daily driver. Do you have any other questions on the MacBook? Do you have any other questions on the Dell Inspiron 16 Plus? Please let me know down in the comment section below where I'm usually very active. I'm W2Best, I make in-depth gear reviews and tutorials, and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day, bye bye!